Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Audacious Devotionals. Um, I'm Dave Adams from the uh, Central Campus and uh, today it's part of the series about faith journey and uh, my scripture today is Matthew uh, 29 verse 20, a verse or part of a verse that I'm sure that you'll all know. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Now that's a tremendous promise of Jesus that he'll always be with you whatever is happening in life. When I was 21 years old, I've been a Christian for a few years, um, I came across some words of a poem that really uh, impacted my life, caused faith to rise, thinking about this verse. And it's by a guy called Henry Lee Richmond Deck. And I'm going to read out uh, the one verse from you. I take thy promise, Lord, in all its length and breadth and fullness as my daily strength. Into life's future, fearless, I may gaze for Jesus. Thou art with me all the days. And, and Deck goes on in his story to talk about days when life's fraught, when it's joyful Days when we battle with temptation, days that are quiet and just full of quiet duty, days full of trivial care, all sorts of days that make our, our lives. And I want to tell you about one day, uh, a special day that I, I'll always remember. It began with, with great joy and peace. Uh, I, was, I was away um, at, at a men's conference at, down in Cobham. Uh, and it was a great time of fellowship and praise and purpose. So I, I began to drive home and I'm coming up the M1. And in those days, I had an Austin Princess, great car. It was a British racing green, uh, my favorite color for a car. And uh, its engine had just been completely rebuilt. It was running like a dream. I was full of contentment, full of gratefulness. Life was good. Suddenly, suddenly, the engine stopped. I would manage to sort of drift uh, away uh, off the motorway, halfway up a slip road, and just stopped. Got out the car thinking, what on earth do I do? Here I am, lost in Derbyshire, the, where I was, um, apart from I got a car that no longer worked. As I stood there, another car stops and I hear this voice. Hello, Mr. Adams. Now, that's weird if you're in the middle of Derbyshire when somebody knows your name. That's the first miracle. And, and th this guy who, who, uh, who was turned out to be the dad of one of the girls that I taught chemistry to at Brinsworth Comp. And he said, hey, do you want to use my phone? Now, this man had got a, a, a built-in phone in his car. And this is going back into the early days of the 80s when um, mobile phones hadn't been invented. Can you young people imagine life without a mobile phone? Well, we, we lived it. Um, but he got a phone so I could ring up home. That was miracle number two. He then said, hey, do you want to lift somewhere? So, oh, yes, please. So he took me uh, off the slip road to the nearest garage. Uh, that's miracle number three. In the garage, uh, I, I, I was in the queue and uh, I asked the girl behind the counter, had they got any mechanics? No, they didn't do uh, uh, mechanical work. They just sold petrol. Uh, but around the corner, there was another garage that had got a mechanic. Um, there was a guy in the queue behind me. He said, hey, do you want to lift? I'll take you. That was miracle number four. And so uh, I jumped in his car. We drove round to the garage. Uh, it was getting on late in the afternoon and the garage was about to close. Uh, and the guy said, I'm very sorry. We, we'd normally love to help you, but we, we, we just can't. We, we're closing in a few minutes. And so I left the garage. Um, walking back to the car full of despondency, thinking, God, what am I going to do? And uh, I went back, sat in my car, prayed, put the keys in the ignition, uh, tried to start the car, and it fired. 
on two cylinders. It sounded absolutely terrible. But I managed to limp up the uh, um, slip rope, round the roundabout, and to the garage. That was my next miracle. That's number uh, miracle number number six. The car starting and managing to get to the garage. Um, when I got to the garage, it was almost closing time. And uh, one of the mechanics said to me, hey, where are you going? I said, well, Sheffield. He said, well, look, I can give you a lift to, to Chesterfield. So I jumped in his car and got a lift to Chesterfield. I think that's seven miracles so far um, in, in the space of about an hour and a half. Well, the next day, the news wasn't good. It was the, the, the engine was an absolute write off. Uh, it, it, it had had it. I actually burnt out a, a valve um, and part of the, the aluminium stuff, it, it actually melted. How the car started the day before, I will never know, apart from it's a, it's a, a mechanical miracle that God did. Um, my friends heard about the predicament and they had a whip round uh, and collected enough money to, uh, to uh, allow me to buy a second hand engine which the garage actually had. That's another miracle. Hey, you know, when you've had a day like that, you never ever doubt God's presence. You know that he's with you, uh, whatever happens in life. And whether it's a quiet day or whether it's a day that's fraught or whatever, God is with us every day of our lives. Can I, can I, I just close with the, the closing verse of my poem from Deck? And he's described all sorts of days, um, fraught days, days of, of darkness and distress, uh, days of joy and deep delight. Oh, you know, he's gone through, gone through every day that you could possibly have. And this is his conclusion. Spend thou these days with me. All shall be thine. So shall the darkest hour with glory shine. Then when these earthly years have passed away, let me be with thee in the perfect day. Wow. You know, the promise of Jesus is that he will be with us to the very end of the age. And I, I just take that promise. It's part of my faith journey. I'll never, ever doubt uh, the fact that Jesus is with me, whether I feel it, whether I see it, whether it's a day full of miracles. I don't think I've ever had another day with sort of eight miracles, one after the other, uh, like I had on that on that particular day. Uh, but I just want to want to bless you and, and commend the Lord Jesus to you. Uh, walk with him today. Trust him because he is with you and he will never, ever leave you and he'll never, ever forsake you. God bless. Um, have a great day.